Well, there we are. One grease job away, and everything's greased, including the lid. And I'm ready to go ahead and start casting. So, I'm going to break out fiberglass resin, mix it all up. Then I'll probably turn the camera back on and let you watch me throw it all together. This is going to be the bottom, and then this will go on top of it. Then uh, I'm not going to put any fabric on the top. It's too small of a stator to worry about the strength of it. So basically it's just going to go that and get poured on. And the lid's going to go on. It's going to be real simple and easy. A little quicker than normal. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Yeah. Many good things to you and yours. All right, it's well greased, properly overly greased, but we're not going to have a problem getting it out. And pour a little in the bottom and get this thing started. Let that spread out real nice. Yeah, that'll be a nice starter. Set that over the paper. Well, not for me. checked with a torpedo level to make sure it was level and best spot on the floor looks like I'm a little bit shy I'm gonna have to mix a little more and then just go ahead and screw the top lid on which means I gotta work fast might have enough I guessed it just a little shy mix me up about three ounces now finish it up well there it is I turned it on put the last three ounces in it matter of fact I had about four or five drops come out the front and that was about it I had a screw here for the second piece of wood down to the bottom and I had it on all four corners plus I had one dead center so I put one more here and one on each side totaling up nine screws we'll give it about two three hours come back give it a check hopefully we can mount it up on the wind turbine and give it a test I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Alrighty. It's a little bit later on, about nine. I did this just before the sun came up. That wasn't hard at all. I'm sure that grease did a nice job. Real nice. Bare wires. Put a bubble all in one little line. The rest of it all it met all the way up to here, above the coils. That's fine. You know, the other thing is to clean this thing off with some alcohol. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Find out if I got a reusable mold. Mmm, shiny. Good. Pretty good. Oh yeah. That's sticking over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, the plastic held up, except for a little spot there. So I pull this off. I'm ready for another cast. And there's my original. Let's find out what I've got here. Well, that worked out like a charm. And this ought to work. Mm. What's the backside look like? Look like it got laid down in the dirt. That's what it looked like. Oh, well, that wasn't all that bright. 
time for the razor blade. Also time for my glasses. <laughs> well, a little bit of manipulative persuasion here. Yeah, that helped out a lot. And I bet I can cut that a lot easier. Yep, worked out just fine. Looks sweet. Now the only thing it needs is a little alcohol bath. We'll be fine. Clear all that stuff off it. Well, there's the stator. The one spot looked like that little bare wire there. Still insulated. Yeah, it's just a bubble. Oh well. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Well, I was in a little bit of a hurry up here, so a few steps got skipped, but I've got some pictures, and I'll uh, explain those real quick. After sanding the prop to balance, I had to give it a little spin outside uh, with one magnet rotor on there. Stuck it on a pole in some low wind, got some nice speed, and it felt very smooth. And a better shot showing the back side of the magnet rotor. If you look around the outside of this disc, there's an eighth inch lip that's painted black. The magnets are all butted up against that, and in the center, is my center mold. If you look on the inside you see four places that have been rasped out with a square rasp to uh, make room for the flat sides of each of the nuts. That lines it up perfect. I just poured this one. You can see the aluminum foil tape around the outside and the center mold and how it sits. And the second magnet rotor after everything is removed. So I went for the final assembly and oops the frame is in the way. But Boomer's got a table router that makes fast work out of polyester resin. So I set the stator in place that fit real nice, and I drilled four holes for the stator mount. I drilled the first hole, second hole, third hole went through a wire, and the fourth hole went through two wires. And by my calculations, I figured we had a 25% chance of still having one phase undamaged. And we wound up on the lucky side. Well, after several hand crank tests with a digital tachometer, and after several calculations, we figured it would take an 11 mile an hour wind to turn the prop at the RPMs to reach charging voltage. I will repair that stator and get some better tests out. So these pictures that you're looking at came from Mr. Belgrade by gosh machine. Now the main conclusion is everything needed to be bigger and we needed a furling mechanism. So we're going with 7 inch magnet rotors bringing the magnets out even farther and the coils out farther allowing more room for more turns on those coils. And this is the back side of the machine where the rotors and the stator go. If you look all the way to the far right you'll see where the furling tail mechanism starts. And this is the front of the unit. Notice that the grease caps have been removed on the bearings. That's so he can do welding and keep everything in shape. And this last photo shows the first part of the new furling mechanism design. Well, that's all I have for you now. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you, and thank you for watching.